final. Number one, starting right here. Best of five between Moon and So In. And here's the bracket so far. What did these guys accomplish? Moon defeated Sini 2 0. That was quite easy. So In had a tough battle against Sock. Did you see the chain wave yesterday? Seven kills with one combo. I went bananas for that. Um. Was a little loud, all my roommates said, what the fuck was going on there? You were so loud, I'm sorry. Can't hold the excitement if seven uh, workers are dying at the same time. So, this is what happened so far. Here are your players, the Everlasting Legend, and that is Moon. The South Korean battle here, 31 years old, turning 32 in December, is Moon, the greatest player of all time. Has a very good track record versus Orc, also versus Soin. He is the big favorite, but Soin played very well yesterday, and if he can keep that up, then why not cause an upset here? So in, um, sometimes, if he has a good week or a good day, he can make it to the top four. For example, in Taidu Esports Masters, uh, that was quite some time ago though. So I gotta check the resources. Uh, okay, gotta swap them real quick. Then we're kind of good to go when I change the colors. Moon and yellow in the upper right of Amazonia. Uh, yellow and his opponent so in in his signature some kind of red Remo is the color expert I'm not but you most likely know what it is of course we started zero zero this is a demon hunter first for moon no keeper of the grove that's the first big surprise but if he expects a shadow hunter or a farseer pick here that's the right call and we see a blade master so in winning the Hero roulette. Are under a lot of orc players have started to play Farseer here for more pressure or Shadow Hunter to deny experience and you know have the Serpent Wards and the Heal Wave up. But uh -uh, back to 1.29 standards, we are Moon Creeping with the Lightning Shield, does it well, damage well spread, so it's easy for the Demon Hunter to pick this up. So it is around to steal something, but the Warg Laves are too strong. And this gonna be a Another kill. Oh, actually blocks himself a little. So in trying to sacrifice himself and that works out. Oh no, it doesn't. He got the kill on the peon. So that's early level two for him. Blade Master comes in for the Aras. Is of obviously not in time for the big ones. Doesn't get the item as well. Shitty items for Moon, to be honest, with the ring and the cloak. But the Blade Master has nothing. Can go for some wisps here. But uh, Soin, I guess, wanted to be faster, didn't use his speed scroll, so maybe with that speed scroll usage, he could have been there earlier, could have sniped the creep or two, but that didn't work out for him. It's a one burrow tech a with a late barrack, so a very, very early tech. One burrow and shop, but this is perfect for Moon to counter. Doesn't want to go for- Oh no, there's a hole! He's using his gold peons now. Obviously losing a little bit of gold, and now he can reach for the burrow. I don't know if that was the correct call for Moon not to go for the barracks, as he doesn't have enough damage for the burrow anyway, because uh, Soin stopped him here. And now he got nothing except a little bit of mining time. 10,600. Oh, well, it's really only like 30, 40 gold. So this harass accomplished nothing, the Blade Master's harass accomplished nothing, but this tech advantage is massive. For this matchup. Still, there should be time for Moon to cancel this. He's also on a very fast tech. Only two bo uh, two Moon Wills. That means he's not using the night time to the fullest with the third Moon Well not finishing. Oh, Blade Master stealing the Shadow Priest here, interestingly. I mean, it's about every little bit of experience, and that got him the time to not be revealed here, but enough time for Moon to finish that creep. Can only cause some damage or steal some experience. The Demon Hunter already level 2.3, Blade Master at 1.3. So that's quite an issue for Soin, that his experience is so far behind. Nice Shadow Melt, he doesn't have a reveal. He could go... Oh, no. Soin completely skipped this laboratory, so it's not available. Great Hall is done. The Burrows are up. Soin survived the early game without heavy losses, but without accomplishing anything as well. Torrent Chieftain second. This is really old school. Um, not really according to 1.30. And he's facing a Huntress Hall. So this TC could end up doing nothing for him. 
Especially if he decides to go for Shockwave, because then there's gonna be Dryads. Dryads are magic immune, and Shockwave doesn't do anything. But Aura is always good, especially against the slow of the Dryads. And the stun stomp can help against the heroes, if he wants to go for a hero focus. But of course, on the other side, there would have been Hex with a Shadow Hunter, so maybe not the right call for Soin. Maybe a little lack of scouting. Didn't see the Huntress fall, or really likes the TC. Um, the TC was quite successful yesterday here against Sock, and it's a Beastmaster. Typical, uh, everything looks like a talent play, except this Huntress Hall and the Lores. So Moon tricking him a little here. There is a Beastry in the back, of course a Torrent Totem, which is quite hard to handle now for a Demon Hunter only. And that's why the Beastmaster decides to go creeping. With his Quill Beast, Engine of War is already in position so far. Not a real flaw in Moon's game, except the base Arras, where he didn't go for the Barracks. That could have gotten him a lot of time, because without Grunts, there's no way Soin can creep. But since he's keeping him busy anyway, it's still level 2 and a bit. It's still level 1-0 experience, and this Demon Hunter looks fairly healthy in terms of experience. Beastmaster... Already close to level 2 from this spot. Got a ring. Amazonia drops, of course, got changed. Um, the nulls here not dropping the consumables anymore, but the permanent items on level 2. And that's gonna be his level 2 for the Hawk. This engine of war. Well, could be used to creep the expansion up, but apart from that, not so important. No tier 3 tech here. Shop is a little late. But that's fine. Ultra Vision and the first upgrade coming. That's really early. 34 supply upgrade. We do have a lightning shield now. Nicely usable on tanky units like the Beastmaster. But I mean the Orc has high HP, Radar Walker, uh, Grunt, so it shouldn't affect him too much. Except if he goes into the Peon line. Lumber Mill for Soin. Going for some Kodos as it seems. To boost the damage and to be able to eat some units. Close to level 3 Demon Hunter. Engine of War. You see the shambles of him. So he will not assist in, or he, he, he will not assist in the next creep spot. But that should be easily doable without it anyway. More creep time for Soin. We got a nice little clause of attack on his TC. So completing the trifecta. And creeping up more. But yeah, the question is, did he blindly go for Shockwave? Or did he scout that? Sees the Hawk now, gets it, and a little more experience. And no scouting anymore. TC sold the Lightning Shield. Okay, now then he knows that he's up against Riots. Because that could have caused a lot of pain for Talons. Devotion Aura here. Can he reach for some end snares and get some easy kills? He has two. Speed roll. Oh, going for the Beastmaster immediately. Is there a staff? No, but could swap the town portal, does so. But only like 10 meters away from his main base. Can't get the grunt. It's a good engagement from the underdog here. 350 gold gone. And Moon going for one support bear without a tier 3 tech. Wait, did he cancel that last Player's second? Or where is that bear? I think he cancelled it, right? And got another Dryad for it? There was a bear in production. Or I'm on some drugs, which I certainly am not. Okay, so close to level 3 Beastmaster. This is a very, very strong push by Moon. Little supply advantage. But okay, he wants the level 3. Maybe just a misclick. Now he's going up to level 3, uh, or tier 3. And then it's... Could be bears, really. But bears are easily countered, usually, by Raider Walker Kodo. Reinforced defenses, nice upgrade to keep the base safe, because we've seen so, so, so many base races in Night Elf versus Orc. Reinforced defense is a big help for the Horde. Two heal potions here on the Beastmaster, level 3 as well. Demon Hunter with a potion, wow. He a is assuming sport. a lot, or expecting a lot of hero focus. We also have a few headhunters here for additional damage. Could this be a tower supported push by Soin? Double heal scroll. But no invul yet. Huh. 
Moon, despite the hawk, doesn't really have an idea where Soin is going. And here it is. The push from the orc with four raiders. Doesn't have pillage yet, but gets rid of another moon. Well, so moon is supply stuck now. And gets rid of a lot of healing and regen. Beastmaster wants to go to the shop, gets another heal scroll. And here come the towers. We've seen this yesterday and the day before. Becomes quite trendy for orcs in China and Korea to do that tower supported push here. Or oh, nice dispel against two of the three quill beasts. Level three on the blade master. That must be critical strike. It's rid of an archer as well. Spirit link applied. And lightning shield of the demon hunter. Now what can he do? The army is nicely spread. We see stun. Buying more and more time for the towers. Used the first shield scroll already. Second one is still up in the Blade Master's inventory. Going for the Demon Hunter now. But there's so many potions to be used. Dryads are falling slowly but steady. Moon at 35 supply only. This is catching him completely off guard. Lightning shield again, but the Demon Hunter has to use the big potion. But the army of Soen is dwindling here. Heal scroll again, saving two units. One was out of range though. Lightning shield doesn't do too much to heroes. Invul potion as well. Man, he used so many consumables already. And now the towers are up. And Snare slightly in range of the tower. Staffs out the Demon Hunter to use the remaining Moon Juice. Moon is so in so much trouble. So and still at 50 supply. And three towers are up attacking the shop. And these towers deal tremendous damage against Dryads if they are in range. But tier 3 is done. Can they hold on to bears? He's not going for bears even. And snare, more damage. Nicely positioned here as well. GG! Moon taps out. And what a surprise. After game one, so in really, really... Like, this wasn't even the strongest tower push imaginable because it was with a TC, not with a Shadowhunter. With a Shadowhunter, this would have been even worse, but... Damn, this was good. Moon not expecting this. Moon didn't see that coming. Uh, ran around on the map like a headless chicken. Kind of. And that got him, that, that got so in so much time. That was pretty, pretty damn good. We haven't seen this in Europe at all from orcs, but the Chinese man, they seem to be a fan. Uh, Sini tried it, Xiao KK tried it, and now so in with a 1 0. Yeah, no keeper. And that's of course nice, if you are up against the Demon Hunter and your opponent isn't scouting too well, that's pretty fantastic. We have a few subs coming in, thank you uh, Kongu Jung, shout out uh, to the other side of Hamburg. Fenrir and Xwop for 20 months already, 20 month hype and guess who's back. Nubby Quakes, 10,000 bits. <sighs> Wait, is it 10,000? Yes, it is. 10,000 bits, man. You are so stupid. You're so crazy. Go Moon! Ohio. Didn't work out for you so far. Oh, man. The stream is... Like, we've seen one map and we got that big donation. You're... you're... Oh, every single cast I'm running out of words for you. <laughs> um, this, this really means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, crazy. So, it's Moon's map choice now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Chinese chat at the moment, not hosting the next map. I'll try to get it translated. Um, something was up with the audio, I guess. All right, everything seems to be fine. Did, did you live in Hamburg, Neo? Yes, I do. In the very center of the Reeperbahn. I love the city. It's so cool. Um, it's kind of one of the biggest German cities, but it's all so central. Like, wherever I want to go, it's 15 minutes by train. Uh, max or by by metro max and we have a lot of water here i'm kind of dependent on water in a city i lived in one city where there was no uh, river or something and i hated it 
now living five minutes from the Elbe, which is uh, pretty damn cool, especially in summer. There's a little park in front. So just walk out, five minute walk, have a park, have a river, big boats. I like that. What's the point of doing a bit donation instead of a euro donation, by the way? Never got the concept. Well, um, you are like the top cheer on, on chat or something. Um, there's some peaks for that. You know Zelle? Of course. Uh, a friend of mine lives there or lived there. I'm's Büttel. Shout out to I'm's Büttel. <laughs> Still alive, brothers? Yes, we are. But someone is one oh up. <clears throat> and that was certainly not to be expected. Sonic is streaming here as well on his birthday. So hopefully he uh, gives himself a little present and makes it to the top four. If you're eliminated in the top eight, you get $150. If you make it top four, so if you win today, you basically double your prize money. And hose right in front of the house. That's true, but I uh, never required the services of one of those ladies. What's the advantage, disadvantage of bits for us? There is nothing. Um, it's the same. Absolutely the same. So, map number two is Terrana Stand. Obvious choice uh, for Moon. One of a, the very, very good Night Elf maps. Let's see if Soen has a trick up his sleeve here as well. Moon is switching the color and so is Soen, so I have to tinker with the overlay a little. Since 1.30, um, our tool doesn't detect the races and colors anymore. So, I have to swap it again. Um, sorry, there's always like a little break at the start of the game, but I hope you can excuse that. <coughs> so. Walk. so in, moon in red. And we're ready! The lead for the underdog! What's Moon's plan now? I'm pretty sure he goes for the keeper now. Has an engine of one next to the shop and the goblins. Or kobolds. It is the keeper, no surprise. But what's it here? Ah, plate masters. Okay. So, this could be... Could this be creepjacked? Are you in time if you speed scroll down this lane? I'm really not sure. I'm pretty sure Moon will start with treants. To creep this and this. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, Soen is not scouting in this direction. Goes through the middle. Same for Moon. Who will see that it's once again no barracks. To have the fast attack and items available. So this could either be an item stealing blade master. Or, or at creep camps. Here for example quite easy to do. Here quite easy to do. Or he runs over right away. Or he creeps the middle. So Soen has plenty of options with his Blade Master here. Oh, he starts with the Kobolds. A player's forces are under attack. This looks like an interesting creep route. Okay, ah, he's doing two spots at the same time. Whoa. That's pretty next level. One tree and sent over for harass. So he's gonna have three uh treants in a bit. And he's creeping a little everywhere, so there's no big pickups possible for the Blade Master, who's expecting Moon here, but there's nothing. This apprentice he could back. steal, but that's about it. The Kobolds are all gone. Is this it's not level two though? And an early Wommel. Very early Wommel. Wommel before barracks, right? Hell yeah. Interesting. Maybe he was lacking some lumber, but I can't really see that. Huh. Either he denied something, something bigger, 
all this creep route makes no sense. Punches hole follow up. No expansion to be seen, but this could be it. He doesn't have the re. Ah, he does it already. So, expansion coming. Maybe he denied the cobalt in the bottom left. I'm not sure. Has nice damage value here with claws and slippers. Nothing on the Blade Master, but he was able to get to level 3 on Amazonia anyway. But this should be a lot of pressure on this Keeper because he has no Entangle, can't run away from the Blade. Interesting. Very slow opening here. <laughs> Treants desperately trying to get this Keeper up. Item was stolen. Oh, this, uh, this would have been good to have the Cloak of Shadows against this. But it's the first experience for the Blade Master. Only 20, but preventing level 2 still. First Huntress are coming, and Moon stays on tier 1. This is not looking good for the 5th race at all. It takes him 4.5 minutes to get to level 2. Grunts are coming, but there's almost no army for Soen as well. He's going Shadow Hunter 2nd, and I'm very sure this is the Tower Push again then, right? Treant's level 3 would be amazing. Moon has his stuff all over the place, so if he's going into the main, the Engine of War is not there. Um, big investment into a Tree of Life, but of course, better defense value with Treants and Huntress than it was before against Archers and Dryads. Torrent Totem again, Treant sees this. Upgrade already. Could have teched as well, but yeah, more creeping needs to be done. This expansion is... I don't know. If the timing is right. Really not sure. Lightning shield here. And the big consumable. That will help in the upcoming defense. But someone needs some time to creep up himself. Big invul. Sweet against Hex right click focus. And the so important levels. The expo is up and running over. Tier 2 has started. How far is Soen? Beast 3 coming now, Torrent Totem coming now, first Headhunters are there, and the Shadow Hunter is creeping with the Grunts in front. This is of course a very, very easy expansion. Especially with a tree to block. So yeah, it's kind of a race for level 3, right? Which will be won by Moon. And then how much distraction can he do with a level 3 Keeper? I am so sure it's gonna be level 2 Treants. I mean, Entangle is very strong, we all know that. But if you expect the tower push, then Treants are just way too good. We have reinforced... Oh, no, not yet. No reinforced defenses yet. He lacks the I'll gold as he went for Ensnare and more casters. And things are looking way better for Moon here. Didn't eat a tree before, or it's already uh, done. The regen. 1-1 one, one upgrades on the Huntress soon. Tier 2 tech over soon. And he has a scout here. He's scouting here, so... I think he'd I'll see when Soen is running time. over, so he can prepare a little better. Or he's just not doing it. But okay, reinforced defense is coming. Sentry here, so Moon will see if someone is going for the laboratory, which is not. The Wisp sees it now, can go for a detonate. Nicely done. And a creep check here. So if his plan was a counter expansion, this is a little delayed. 43 supply by someone only, speed scroll disengagement. And we do have Entangle level 2. Okay. So I was wrong. Nice heal wave, but doesn't help. And another entangle. Oh, that's easy for Moon. Two kills for nothing. And he kind of has to hide in his base now. With those two pickups, I think he delayed... If there would have been a tower push, he delayed it by a lot. And this mass tier 1 stuff is coming with upgrades now. Moon glaives, improved bows, and more upgrades. So he could turn this around and tower push the orc if he wants to, but there's no need with the expansion up. 
Plays the Keeper solo, so no Alchemist at the moment, but he's going to the Tavern, doesn't have the gold, but it's 5 supply free. If he stops, it's an Alchemist, if not, he plays it solo. Alright. And now I like the engine of war position. They are just waiting for the Orc to push, with Moonwells in the back. So I would not advise so in. Oh, this is so perfect! If there's a siege here, he has two defenders up front, he has healing in the back, and a shop. A if he goes for the main though, attack. there's basically nothing. But super smart by Moon. Parry up the vitality here, reinforced defense is finished. Is he pulling peons? At least one, two. Ah, three, four. Okay, but that is the wrong angle, my friend. Should have scouted. What's up there? Moon is so ready. Breaking upkeep. Well, the moon juice is empty here, but at least he has regen there. He's starting the creep though. Level 4 on the Keeper of the Grove. Raiders are coming. So, peons, are you just... Meat shield, or will you set up the towers again? That's the big question here. 10 supply lead, 15 supply lead. Oh, nice, almost a nice save. Late Master quite underwhelming on level 2. Shadow Hunter almost level 3, but he needs one more kill. Oh, big dispel! That was that was massive. This dispel got him level 3. He'll wave immediately. But it's only two towers here at mass piercing damage. The Mauler comes in as a blocker. Man, does he deal with his towers and the Blade Master? Whoa, heal scroll saves him for now. Is there another heal wave? Yes, there is, but more and more treants. I don't think he can dispel against it. Nope, the walkers are already empty. Moon is putting the foot on Soen's neck. Presses him to the ground. He needs kind of a miracle. P positions the towers far in the back again. Level 5 so quickly. Not too much spirit link here as well. And as easy as the tower push on map 1 was, as easy as the defense now. You don't fool moon twice. I think that's the message here. Like, okay, young gun. That one caught me off guard, but now I'm ready. And the thing is... What could Soen do? Like, if he expands now, instead of tower rushing... Like, counter expands... Moon will just crush him with all the forces that he has, like 15 supply lead. I think you need to scout where... Well, if the base is defended or not. Huh. And then decide where to go, but of course if you go here, it takes a little more time. Pardom second. Haven't seen that on this patch yet, but of course it makes sense. He's 2-1 upgrades already. And then the Pardom addition as well, for at least 10%. Nice. So is there some kind of tr uh, transition? For Moon, it should be rather easy if there's another big push. He could go into Mountain Giants, but Soen is trying this again. With once again only 50 supply. He's so far down. The Kodo this time. He has a Heal Scroll and a Mana Potion. And he's ready once more. Potom True Shot, Protection Scroll, Heal Scroll, Invul Potion, everything. One last Hail Mary, I guess, but without peons even. So this is just a normal attack. No towers, no shop, no backup. Scroll Protection on his side as well, but the Shadow Hunter is already super low. Blade Master falling down to like one third, and wow. This focus is just way too crazy. Heal Scroll being used. Kodo has eaten. Level 3 here, saves him a bit longer. Where's the heal wave? Oh, not really hitting the Blade Master. That was certainly a mistake. G, yeah, it must be GG. Blade Master falls, no chance. And one unit after the other. It makes no sense if there's, uh, makes no difference if there's a protection scroll or not. GG. Equalizer. Moon getting the revenge for his horrendous map one. Someone making the wrong decision here. Attacking from the left-hand side of the map. Should have gone through the middle. Uh, to the main. 
Didn't expect that. So in both games, a lack of scouting decided this game early, I think. Thank you, uh, Switch41 for the 213 sub. Greetings from Finland. Oh, and Finland, I always have a sweet spot in my heart for this country. I saw Satellite Stories last week. It's a band from your country, if you're not aware. Very good indie music. They blew me away with their stage presence. Usually, like, you know, the cliche of, of Finnish bands are like metal or like him. Um, but that was... Lightly hearted indie pop from Finland. That was cool. Do Mercs profit from the armor upgrade too? No, only your own units. That damage was so sick, right? Holy shit. Protect the scroll, doesn't matter. Spirit link, doesn't matter. It's just so much damage on Night Elf Tier 1. Ah, just spending an Erasmus semester here. Oh, I've heard good stories about uh, time off in Finland. <laughs> one one, yes. Foggy's dad is featured on Foggy's next stream. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I know that his brother always made fun of him when he was losing. That's kind of like a kind of a Chinese uh, atmosphere there in Foggy's family, as it seems, uh, especially with his brother. Like, if Foggy wins, they don't say too much, as far as I know. And if he loses, he's he's getting trashed. By them. Enchinals is next. That is, of course, more like Amazonia, and that should help with the tower push. What do you guys think about this? Orc Towers. I think you cannot give the Night Elf too much time. So the faster you can tech, the faster you get the reinforced defenses up, the better it is, as it oftentimes is with Tower Rushes, of course. But if you're prepared for that... Like, Moon, Moon was 100% prepared for this. I think you have to throw a curveball now and do something different. Shouldn't the Orc go for Moonwall Snipes before he sets up the Tower Rush? Well, at first he has to scout what's around the uh, um, around the area where he wants to attack. Need Serpent Wards with the Towers? I agree, Serpent Wards heavily lacking. I like the Serpent Wars, but for that you have to be level 3. And level 3 Heal Wave is also very, very good, so it's hard to decide. Yeah, scouting, I think, in 1.30 got a lot more important. Um, Closer-ish to StarCraft, I guess. because For many, many years, scouting wasn't really a thing, I think. I mean, of course people scout it, but maybe for the first time in forever you have to scout constantly. Especially with Night Elves, like against Night Elves. You don't know if they are massing hunts or going uh, Hippo Riders or going Mountain Giants or whatever. You really have no idea. Night Elves can play so much and I love the diversity of strategies in 1.30. Game number three. 1-1. One, one. Once again, I have to check the resources. Should be right this time. Yeah, I think Moon is... yeah. So just have to adjust, adjust, adjust the colors. Moon in yellow! Soen stays in his pink-purple-ish thing. Whoever wins this map has two match points in a row. Moon with a standard opening, Engine of War to the Ogres, and an altar. So AI, keeper or not, I'm not too sure. Once again, so in with an altar opening. No barracks yet, once again. So it looks like he has this one strategy prepared, and we'll go for it. 
You should open the chat, right? Yep. Late barracks again. And I think Moon missed some timings to punish the late barracks. With a keeper, if you scout this, shouldn't you be able to walk over, especially on AI and AZ, where you get level 2 basically for free. Shouldn't you be able to run over and cancel that building? I'm pretty sure there's a timing window for that. Like, on map 1, Moon was a little bit too late, maybe did the wrong decision to not attack the barracks. But if you kill the barracks, like, this buys so much time where the orc can't really creep because of the lack of grunts. And later it weakens your tower push or delays your tower push because you have to go for grunts for creeping and they're only then going for the headhunters. A player's forces are under attack. So Blade Master again. And Moon has a keeper of the grove. Alright. Should be an easy creep here as well, uh, because you can lure them out and tangle the big one here, then you're safe. Just don't deny anything. Oops, and then you're fine. Oh, so in, in with a peon. Oh, he didn't get it. It was close, but he didn't get it. Blade Master is coming over. Usually this is unpunishable, but he's in. The Blade Master can steal this warrior. It's treant first, so no control with Entangle. Okay, so he's not level 2. Got the peon, so this one kill will give him level 2 once the archer arrives. And a Huntress Hall in the back. Longer tier 1, but expanding is not easy here. Oh, zero experience. And now, this is exactly what I was talking about. Treants, barracks, kill. Moon realized this as well, huh? Almost as smart as I am. But is one treant enough? He doesn't want to commit to this. Okay, now he does. But are two treants enough if your keeper is busy? He does have level 2 now. He's not using Entangle to save the mana for more treants. Here they are. And with that, it should be enough. It's getting close, though. It's really getting close. Maybe I underestimated the HP gain of Barracks. Oh, boots now? Oh no, it's not boots time. I mean, it is boots time, but they're not going for them. Erex is up. Whoa, that was big for Soen to keep that alive. Huntress transition, Tree of Life. So the same tactics as on Terranas. It's too much. We keep the barracks open here to see if there's a keeper kill, but there shouldn't be. No, no. Huh. How long do they stay alive? Okay, this barracks is safe. Needs repair though. Haven't seen a war mill. Ah, there is a war mill in the back. Man, I imagine the disaster if he kills the barracks. It's GG. Oh, nice scouting. Is this damage enough? It's all about killing buildings in the early. No, against Entangle, that's not. And since the late barracks, he doesn't have a grunt. To support this attack. Second engine of war. So Moon with the same strategy as on... Terranus. So with the same strategy of Terranus as well, with the Shadow Hunter again. Moon also has Wisps on the map. Sees what's up. Can't be attacked by melee. And this looks fairly good. He will not be harassed during the creep. With the Huntress AoE and the Tree of Life in front. And Mercenary additions. That's an easy expansion for Moon. Could already tech, I feel. And this is the big, big, big downside of Soen's strategy experience. 1-1. One, one. The Keeper will be 3 again after this. Got a ring plus three. Oh, close to level three. But he can go for this green spot. He can go for the shop. Whatever suits him. Are under attack. 
All right. But this time he must realize how uh, realize how exposed the base is. So it's not scouting at all, right? On the map, we don't see any scouting. He's playing this kind of blind. Level two walkers coming out. A player's forces are Moon attacked. spreads his base like all across the right hand side of the map. Speed scroll into hex, attacking the keeper here. Not really understanding this. And Moon is already overwhelming him with like 10 supply more. Before a single gold coin has been mined. Because Soen invests a lot into reinforced defenses, right? No, he didn't even. Huh. Where's all his gold going? I mean, yeah, two production buildings. Plus upgrades. That's very expensive. He needs Ensnare. He needs Adept. He also needs Reinforced. <laughs> I think there's some adjustments that can be done. Oh, Wind of Illusion to block even more. That's so cool. Moon on the way to tier 2. So Soin has to hit soon. And he's also sharing experience between Blade Master and Shadowhunter. I think you have to power level the Shadow Hunter. Because his heal wave and the Serpent Ward are the key, not the Blade Master's damage. And you absolutely do not need level 2 Windwalk. Crit level 2? If you have a great inventory, that makes a big difference. I don't think so. Moon is scouting this. Seeing reinforced defenses is done. And he pulls them out now. This back. is faster than before. Is he He's creeping this. In my opinion, he's losing too much time right now. Or he's waiting for the peons anyway and finishes this while the peons are moving over. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Take that back then. And the mana stone is amazing for the SH. But not even close to level 3 as he was on Terranus. Inventory here. Protection scroll, heal scroll, but moon. So smart, so fast. He knew this. He smelled this like a, from a mile away. That was too easy, so it. That was too predictable. But all right, he gets the first kill. Scroll of protection on both sides. Dispels a little bit, but also goes to the tree. And that's level three. And do we see serpent walk? No, we have seen hex before. So it's Hex and Heal Wave again. I'm not sure this is the right call. Nice Cyclone from the Wen of the Wind. Dispels it, but immediately cast it again. So fast by Moon once more. Heal Wave rattling through. And this time, Moon isn't as overwhelming, but you know, the rubber band of the Spirit Link. There's no Heal Scroll anymore, only a Heal Wave. And for that, he needs mana. And Tangle on the Blade Master. That is so much damage again. With the 1-1 one, one upgrade. That's just way too much. Couldn't help him anymore. And the level 3 blade is down. He even has an AP up against this. And that is too easy. Now investing so much gold into the level 3. Players' forces are under attack. So if Moon scouts it, he's well too prepared for this. It seemingly does work as a cheese, but Moon crept so much. Both mercenary camps, the laboratory, everything here, everything on the right side. Keep a level five now, and again seventy supply. Yeah. So in going for the heal scroll, the only heal scroll at the moment. What's 
the solution. Kind of surprised that he's not a fan of the serpent wards. <laughs> Lots of trees are gone, by the way. That gives him quite a good position for this watchtower. Simone patiently waiting for scrolls, I guess. Does he even need it? Oh yeah, he has a heal scroll and a protection scroll again. Only a heal scroll here. But he does have the mana stone, so maybe that mana stone can do something. There's no invul on the keeper and no TP and no second hero. He could realize that this keeper is the Achilles heel. But he's not going for it. There's too much. He has no time. Also, not too much control with only two end snares. Tower is gone once more. And this is ridiculous. How this Blade Master is melting despite having 6.2 armor. And Moon has Moon Wells everywhere, has the shop up back there. That was the third last heal wave. Heal scroll being used as well. Massive dispel again. But it's too many trees. He can't do anything. Nine supply die in the blink of an eye. And all that Soen is killing is the treants with dispel as it seems. He's not gaining too much experience while the keeper, look at him. Close to level six. The last heal wave here. Oh, second last heal wave here. Level 3 treants. It's too much. Everything falls and that is match points for Moon. Tranquility! Of course. GG! Once again an easy defense. Oopsie. Once again an easy defense. For Moon. So in... This was one of the best maps for this push because it's so small. But again, why don't you scout the main? Moon is prepared for this attack. He knows that you're going for the expo. Try to poke in the main. I don't know, what do you think? Serpent wards, I agree. Better scouting. This can work. We saw it working. Um, not only the first game of today, but also yesterday. All right, next map is Echo Isles. Huh. Yeah, just kind of agreeing here. Hmm. Very one dimensional play. He's not switching things up really. But he needs to. 2 1 for Moon, match points for the fifth race. He is the big favorite, he was the big favorite. It was a surprise that he lost to this tower push in map one. And again, I gotta check on the resources and colors, that will take some time. Uh, 160s, 160 as well though. I think it's swapped. Or I have to swap it. Yeah. Give me a sec. So. Moon in red this time. Keeps the color. 
Match points! What will we see? We see a difference. This time it's a barracks before the shop. So maybe a Farseer even. Or Shadow Hunter. Yes, Farseer it is. So mass pressure from the get go. Against a keeper and a huntress uh, or an engine of war here. This could be dangerous. If the wolves attack uh, wolves, you can do a lot of damage to the economy. And it's a dual burrow as well. Dual burrow, farseer, grunt play. At least he's switching it up. At least he's trying something new. Wolves, of course, can be easily dispelled by Wisp, but not that easily. I mean, if he has a Shadow Priest, that helps him a lot. So, a player's forces are under yeah, attack. this is the Farseer play. No creeping, just straight over to the Night Elf base. And in Moon's mindset, it's like, okay, I can deal with the Farseer. I have my summons who can beat your summons. I have a Shadow Priest to dispel your stuff. And I got level two right away. And both heroes are very squishy, but the entangle lasts for so much longer. Oops, so in pause the game, maybe a little spike on the server. Of course, for the Koreans that are like tier 2, tier 3, it's always a big honor to face Moon. He is their god, he is the legend. Maybe that plays into this. That they feel inferior from the start. But he had a weapon prepared. That weapon... Did work once, but then it broke. So Farsia, what can you do? If he gets the Shadow Priest, that's huge. But he's already committing a lot of health to it. Farsia at 50%, Grunt at 50%. Priest can heal himself, but he's getting the kill. As it seems. Oh, Moon is buying so much time in the defense, and he saves the Shadow Priest in the end. That was a wasted harass. Zero experience, I guess. A little bit. But Tree of Life immediately. Like, okay. No pressure anymore. You retreat. Then give me that sweet, sweet extra gold. So he got a little bit. 75 HP. But that doesn't do it. He's so low. Next entangle and she dies, actually. Keeper is so thirsty for the kills. So it seems outplayed already. Right? He didn't go for Wisps, he didn't go for the base. I mean, of course, it's very, very tempting to go for the Merc Camp if you know that the Night Elf is creeping there. The town is under siege. But Moon saved it all. So now some creeping up to Chain Lightning on level 2. But this gives Moon so much time. To creep, to entangle. Oh, he's still there. And he has the entangle, kills the Grunt. And maybe the next entangle lands on the fast here, but he got some healing done. Tier 2 only finishing now. Very, very late. Four minutes and 50 seconds. And last hit goes to the Farseer. Very important. And the surround as well. He doesn't have a staff, so this is a town portal. Can he fight his way through with Treants? No, he's portaling. Ooh, this engine of war almost fell as well. So that was good. That brought uh, Soin kind of back in the game. But he lost a grunt for it for 200 gold. Tier 2 tech started now. But Expo is up. Do we have a second Engine of War somewhere? I don't see it. Ah, coming now. Okay. So Moon going for this the same strategy, but with earlier mercs, as it oftentimes is the case on Echo. 
Fasty is level 2, but that's it. Shadow Hunter again. So it's with this, I mean, the distance between the base and the expo is so far. There is no Wormel this time, by the way. Only one Beastery, no Totem. It's always so tempting to say Lodge, because we've said it for years. Uh, Beastery at Lodge, it's so programmed into my brain. Kind of struggling a little. So, entangle immediately on the Shadow Hunter. This is what you got into, man. Should have stayed in the altar. No TP anymore. And more hacks. This could be the end of the Keeper. He's blocking. Nicely done. Nicely done. First with the Peon, then with the Shadow Hunter. Gets in front again. Nice positioning from the Wistful Moon to detonate against the Hex. And this is the escape. Can he reach again? Yes, he can. But is he in time for the block? Not for the surround. There's a big Congo line and he outmaneuvers him. Like Messi against the third class player. In a dribbling. That was too easy. No hex anymore. He spent all his mana. And once again accomplished nothing. That's rough. So it is scouting this time though. Could have entangled this. Wanted to save some moon juice, I guess. And now time for the keeper to level up, as it is time for the orc heroes to level up as well. of speed could be nice for the shadow hunter to reach some units that are running away but we have a level three keeper here that's kind of a player's forces are under attack the magical number on level one he's strong but okay on level two he's very strong but okay but on level three things really change as it oftentimes is the case and it should be the case but the upgrade is so big so is he burrow rushing now like not rushing but burrow pushing He saved the resources for the war mill and the reinforced defenses, so this is earlier. And he's going to the base. It's a lot of peons. Could also just be to soak up damage, but there's no spirit link, so it doesn't really make sense. He's skipping war mill and totem to go for a raider grunt only attack with mercs. Can he get double mercs? Nope. Moon is there. Moon is ready once more. Three mercs, three treants. So what is this? Close to level three here. Only level one on the Shadow Hunter. It's only Hex. He's pushing without heal wave. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Chain lightning rather through, but he's just once again losing nine supply in the blink of an eye. Everything is low for Moon though, with a little bit more AoE, which he doesn't have. He could cause some kills. The range army is good. Like the piercing damage is fine. Moon again. No TP, no staff, but a heal scroll. Can still and stay in this fight. No, it's too much. Moon is the first semi-finalist and winner of $280. So when this looked desperate. This looked not really thought out. He was lacking everything. Seriously. I don't know what this was. Uh... Yeah, congrats, the old man. 31 years old, making it to another top four in the Shankui Cup here. That looked too easy. Yes, I agree. That was, that was very easy. And this is the bracket here. Moon, as I said, first semi-finalist. He will 
play a Knight of Mirror against Sonic or Shishi? That's the question. Fast versus Colorful is next, so we jump from the lower part of the bracket into uh, the upper part of the bracket. And that's going to be our next game in just a little time. You were right with the uh, Paul here. Uh, now I want to know, oh, how did you like the cast? Are you satisfied with the casting here of match number one? Or is there something I could advance on? Then let me know. I will prepare for the next one. Colorful versus Fast and Night Elf versus Orc once again. But uh, hopefully both players are uh, in a better shape here or can produce closer matches. Looking forward to see Colorful. He's in tremendous shape and uh, certainly a favorite in this upcoming match. But yeah, we go into a little break. I want to hear your feedback about the cast. And then we will be back with quarterfinal number two, Colorful versus Fast. 